Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. It is super late at night, but I wanted to film a like review of this contraption here that you put on your in your hair um, overnight, and it's supposed to give you nice curls without using heat. Um, I actually first used this in a vlog a couple videos ago. I gave like a little first impression in that vlog, but I thought I would give it like a second try and give it its full a full video just to talk about this thing. Um, I know lighting is bad, like I said, it's nighttime, but um, hopefully it's bright enough that you can at least um, see what I'm doing. So this is the product. If you look up like heatless curls on Amazon, it will come up. It comes with this like big, um, it's basically like foam with a wire running through it wrapped in silk. And there's a fly buzzing around. Um, this video's a hot mess already. And uh, so it's like really bendable, but it's like nice and silky and not gonna damage your hair like some fabrics. It also comes with two silk scrunchies and um, a hair clip. And I will have like a link to a few of these listed in my Amazon storefront. They have a bunch um, at a bunch of different price points. I'm assuming the ones at the higher price points are better quality. Um, this one that I got, I believe was $7.99 and it's no longer listed on Amazon. So I will just list a bunch of similar options on my storefront. Um, like I said, if you just look up heatless curls, this will, this and a bunch of similar products will come up. So like I said, I tried it uh, a couple weeks ago in one of my vlogs and it didn't come out great. And I think a big reason for that was I washed my hair and even though my hair had dried most of the way, it was still very damp. And so when I used this and took it out in the morning, um, like I put it in overnight, take it out in the morning, my hair was still wet and so the curls did not last. Um, they looked good for maybe two minutes and then they all fell flat. It was also really bad in the back and it didn't hold my bangs correctly. Um, so we're just gonna try a few different techniques today and just see how they come out tomorrow. Um, so like I said, last time I started out with like freshly washed, still damp hair that had air dried. Today I let my hair dry completely all the way. Um, and then what I saw on TikTok was just very lightly get your hair wet with a spray bottle. Um, this is a uh, detangler spray, so hopefully it's good enough to um, just get my hair lightly, lightly wet, like not even damp. And of course your hair might dry differently. My hair is like bleached and bleached hair tends to hold water um, more than unbleached hair or uncolored hair. So my hair takes a really long time to dry, which is probably why it didn't dry completely overnight. But if your hair isn't color treated or just different texture or whatever, I'm not a hair stylist. I don't know all the different ways that make hair dry faster or not. Um, it, it's just basically gonna be a, a different outcome for in everybody's individual hair. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like midnight right now. Um, so, just gonna get a couple more spots just lightly, very, like almost barely wet is what I'm kind of trying out this time around. And then I'm gonna brush through it. And then one issue that I had last time was my bangs. I couldn't get my bangs to stay around it and so this is what I saw and I, I really wish I showed I like screenshotted the tips that I got from the TikToks that I saw so I apologize that I'm not able to give like proper credit to who came up with these techniques but I saw one girl do this she put her bangs down first then wrapped her bangs around and then clipped before I um I did the clip first. I also feel like I did the clip kind of too far back on my head. Um, this actually hurts a little bit, so I'm gonna loosen that. Um, and then I'm gonna try to sleep with the clip in. I um, can't promise that it'll stay in though. And so then um, my hair is divided. And when I pull, because last time another problem that I had was the back of my hair is wavy and it stayed really wavy. It did not look great. 
So I'm gonna try to like kind of, when I add more hair, I'm gonna try to pull it tight to make it, I don't know, more straight or more, I guess like at the root it won't be curled, but I'm hoping it won't be like as frizzy and stuff if I kind of pull it tight. Um, I don't know if, if I can really show pulling it tight, but uh, what you're gonna do next is just wrap your hair around here and I'm just taking like little sections at a time just like I did originally so um, if you saw the vlog that I did originally trying this out I apologize that uh, this is kind of repeated content but we're trying some new techniques this time gonna keep wrapping it around honestly I feel like see the first time I did this my hair was too wet and I'm feeling like it's too dry like how could my hair possibly stay curly if it's only slightly slightly damp the nice thing about it being wire also is when you're you can get the scrunchie really tight because you can bend it but like I said since I have cheaper one the foam kind of almost feels like it could break um, when you're bending it too much so now we're going to do this side like I said every time I grab a new piece of hair I'm kind of pulling it tight I know you can't really see that part but I'm using my thumb to kind of just pull on it so hopefully it'll it won't be as frizzy um right up there towards my roots I'm just gonna check make sure I'm not forgetting any hairs feel the wire like sticking out through the silk right here I get it punctured through the silk but I can feel it so I definitely got the cheaper of these uh contraptions okay so now what I'm gonna do is just cuz like I feel like it's not wet enough I'm just gonna kind of lightly spray it with some more of that detangler Detang I wonder if detangler is gonna make it like too soft to and make it hold the, the curl less if that makes sense um, water might be better and then I saw some people were saying not to put hairspray on it some people were saying to put hairspray on it so what I'm actually going to use is some texture spray which is like kind of like hairspray um, well at least this kind is kind of like hairspray but it, without being like too hard like it even says right here like flexible beeswax texture this is OGX um, and I'm just going to kind of spray. Okay, how am I going to do this with the bangs? Because that's where the clip is. I'm just going to kind of spray like where the. Kind of look in the mirror while I do this. Um, and then. This stuff smells so good. See, I said I was going to lightly spray, then I kind of put a lot. So now I'm going to go to bed, and in the morning I will take these out. We'll see if that technique works. Let's see how the back looks. I can't see how the back looks. You guys can see how the back looks. So that's how it worked when I pulled it tight. Let's see. I'm gonna sleep on it. We'll see how it is in the morning. I am gonna have to try to sleep on my back. It's gonna be hard because I am a side sleeper. I might be able to sleep on my side comfortably, but it just might make the curls more fucked up. Uh, maybe it'll make them looser. I don't really know. So yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm also just gonna kind of bend this wire really quick. I'm gonna bend this wire so it's more like even there. Well, it doesn't really work. 
because this side's kind of sticking out more and I think it's because I it's not totally centered on my head okay now I'll see you in the morning good morning so I just woke up um last night when I went to bed as soon as I lay down on the bed I had to take the clip out it was just like it was pulling this way when I was laying on my back and it was just hurting too much so I took the clip out and of course that made my bangs fall out um, also, the uh, thing got totally loose, um, yeah, just from sleeping on it. So if you're able to sleep super still, uh, it might be easier for, for you to keep it in place. So we are just going to take it out. Hopefully this time my hair dried all the way because um, since I, I bleached it like recently, I'm just not totally used to how the texture works. It feels pretty dry. That still doesn't look as like cute as everyone else's does though. I think I just need to mess with it, kind of run my fingers through, but they are like nice. Like loose curls but I just kind of prefer like a, a little tighter curl um, it also really helped with um, like frizz last time I did it even though the curls fell flat within like just a few minutes when I went to like curl my hair like normal my hair was a lot less frizzy than it would have been if I just slept on it and so now let's try the back. I'm gonna use my phone so I can actually like see the back when I'm showing you guys. All right, so it's better than before. Still not 100% perfect. So definitely make sure you are pulling the hair from your back, from the back of your head tight. Um, if you have like wavy hair like mine. But uh. Overall, I think that worked a lot better and I definitely recommend doing the texture spray over the hairspray because like now this morning It doesn't even feel like I have stuff in my hair um, Whereas the hairspray it would probably feel like hard and um, I don't know like a little crunchy and not not the best feeling So if you have texture spray, I would recommend using that um, but yeah, I'm a lot more impressed this time around. I think it still is going to need some practice and I really need to figure out what to, how to do the bangs. Um, like if I should use a bobby pin or something. Um, Cause I do like to have my bangs curled. But yeah, that is gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, sorry about the bad lighting at the beginning. Like I said, it was just my bathroom lights. So um, I'm gonna keep trying this product out and if I, find any other techniques or anything, I'll probably update in a vlog. Um, this will probably be my only like full dedicated review video to it. But um, as, I, as I'm seeing like more TikToks with tips and stuff pop up on my For You page, I will probably continue to try those tips. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.